Okay, so I've got a bit of a continuation video today from my attract mode video that I uploaded a couple of days ago. I was talking about manually uploading or rather adding your own artwork into attract mode yourself. Now, for some reason, the game's database, which I mentioned, is very temperamental. Sometimes you'll find that you can scrape artwork and everything else you need, and it's fine. Other times, it's not going to work. So, how do you get around this? The answer is through Emmy Movies. You can use Emmy Movies, but you do need to sign up with it. And I think I briefly mentioned this the other day in my Attract Mode Beginner Setup Guide. If we just go to Downloads, from the Downloads section, we can actually download packs, artwork packs, video packs, bezel packs, pretty much everything. So it's quite slow in downloading, but once you've downloaded these packs, you've got them, and you've got a hard copy of them as well. So let's just pretend you don't have the game's database working or it's not scraping your artwork. So what I'm going to do is just launch a track mode. And as we can see, I've got no artwork whatsoever right now. So we're going to change this. What we're going to do is just exit out of a track mode. Now what we're going to do is just go into the scraper folder just here. Now this is a continuation of the video which I uploaded the other day and in that video I covered Nintendo NES and the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis. I've got two folders here. So I'm going to start with Sega. If I go into the Sega folder, we got Marky, Snap and Will just here. We could create our own folders. But what I'm going to do for this is just go into the marquee folder and it's empty. And the reason it's empty, the game's database couldn't scrape anything because it's playing up. Now, I've downloaded from the MU Movies website a pack just here. This is Sega Mega Drive or Sega Genesis marquees. If I just copy everything from this folder and just drag and drop it into that scraper Sega marquee folder just here. What I'm going to do next is just open up Attract Mode again. And as we can see, we've now got marquees in place. And you'll also notice that I've got some blank spaces here, but as I explained in the beginner setup guide the other day, that's pretty much down to naming conventions. If your artwork images don't match the names of your games, then it's not going to identify each other and you're going to end up with blank spaces like that. But this isn't the point of this tutorial. So if I just press escape again, exit attract mode, what I'm going to do this time is actually go back into that scraper folder, back into the Sega folder, and this time I'm going to put Sega Snaps into the Snap folder. So Snaps just there, these are .mp4 files, and these are of course videos of gameplay. So for example, if I open up Free Ninjas, So we got the gameplay footage just there, and what I'm going to do with these snaps is just again control and A, and pretty much just drag and drop these into that snaps folder inside track mode. And again, if I then open up a track mode again itself, and right now we should see the preview videos of each game on that arcade display screen but we need to enable this so to enable this we're just going to press tab which opens up configure and from tab we're going to go up to displays and i'm going to select sega and under sega i'm just going to go down to layout options and if i just scroll up we're going to see cap screen if i press enter on this and select video by pressing down, press enter again, and come out by pressing escape. And as we can see, we now got preview videos. course we can also edit how those videos appear too so again from the configure menu go up to displays back down to Sega and layout options and from here we can then mess around with how it's going to look so scan lines on screen right now is set to dark if I press enter on this and put it off if I then go back to play one of the videos <laughs> Hi. 
And as you can see, the scan lines have now been removed. And again, up to displays, back down to Sega, layout options, and we can change things from here. So we got spin wheel artwork. This is set to marquee. If I put this onto wheel and press enter, Okay, I'm also going to mention that during that footage just a minute ago, when you've seen the arcade display above the arcade screen, that's the marquee area, and you'll notice that the marquee was identical to the wheel spin around in terms of images, and the reason that is, is because in the attract mode folder, in scraper folder, Sega, I've got two folders here, marquee and wheel. Now, if I open up marquee, those are my images, and if I go to Will, the images are the same. So if I was to go to the MU Movies website and actually download the correct Will version, our images are going to be different. Whereas if I was to download a different set of images for the marquee itself, they're obviously going to be different too. So I just want to clean that up because I didn't want you getting too confused of why they're both looking the same. But yeah, of course, you can actually download separate things and just put them into the appropriate folders just here and we've also got the ability to create new folders such as flyers for example and within attract mode we can actually apply flyers to providing you've got the theme which allows that to happen if i just take out for now wheels for example if i just delete these and I then go back into a tracked mode and since those wheel.png images are gone and as you can see the wheel images have now disappeared because I've just deleted those .pngs from that folder but we still got the marquees displayed and if we want to alter the marquee what we can do actually is just go back to configure by pressing tab Displays and then choose the system you want to say go in my case layout options and We're gonna find marquee artwork and right just here. It's actually directed to my marquee folder And that's why we're seeing those images if I press enter on this and I press down I Can choose different varieties just here such as emulator name if I press enter It's no longer displaying those images, but it's literally just displaying that Sega marquee. And again, back to configure by pressing tab, displays, Sega, layout options. And if I drop this to my own and press enter, it's now given us a generic arcade marquee. So displays, Sega, layout options. And I'm going to set spin wheel artwork this time to marquee because we still got those images in the marquee folder. Press enter. And like I say, we can change that marquee back to the Sega. So if I go here again and back to displays. Sega, layout options, marquee artwork, I'm going to set to emulator name. And whilst I'm here, I'm also going to remind you that we can actually mute the sounds of the video from here. So if I press enter on mute video snap sounds and press down so it says yes, the sound is now deleted or disabled. And that's it for today's attract mode in setting up or manually setting up your own artwork as well as preview videos for your setup. So anyways, if you liked today's video, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. Also check out my main beginner's guide to attract modes that I uploaded the other day. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.